I'm doing really good. This you did get. <laughs> You're beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I was just for the audience. <laughs> we were trying to make noises and not laugh. Uh, hello, uh, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome, welcome to, to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris, and you can call me Chris. And this is Jessica, my sister. If you should probably know her by now. You guys love her so much. You guys keep begging me for her to come back because you. <laughs> Hate just seeing me. Uh, so I brought no. my pregnant sister back. Really she's, pregnant, dudes. She's on the edge, guys. She's got uh, like a week or two left. Two weeks? I'm two almost weeks? 37 weeks, so technically Whatever that three means. more weeks. Three more weeks until but a living thing comes out of her. I don't know, you could her. come early. There's so much to do. I'm excited. There's so much to do. She's stressed, so we're gonna read stressful stories. We're gonna be reading some confessions and some horror stories from my DMs, like people's real life horror stories and confessions. Cause you guys love that video from last time, this one right here. So uh, let's get to it. First one is a is a real life horror story. Let's get to it. Jay set the scene. So basically when I was 15, I was given one of those birthday balloons full of helium. It's already horrifying to me! Everything was great on my birthday until the upcoming days. I had kept the balloon in my room for the first night, then realized in the morning that it was gone. At first, I didn't think anything of it until I went downstairs to find it in the kitchen. Mm. Then after every night, we would find the balloon in a different location each night as it slowly deflated. We decided we were gonna let it roam free because every time we moved it anywhere, it just moved overnight. Then one morning, me and my family wake up to find it deflated in the small spare bedroom on the bed. We thought it was a bit weird, so we decided to throw it away. What else would you do with it? Then the following week, we received a letter in the mail addressed to the previous owner who lived here, so we thought we would get in contact with the family to pass it on. Little did we know, we found out that Paul, the old man, died in the house on the bed in the spare bedroom where the balloon landed. Maybe you just like balloons. <laughs> Supposed to be creepy, you know, like maybe Paul like balloons. <laughs> maybe he worked That's at a circus. Nice. I don't know. That's interesting. Balloons do move weird though when they're deflating. Aren't they? They, they like move like, really strangely. Don't they? Don't they? <laughs> don't they? Aren't they? But they're probably entities. Well, and then with like your air going off in your house or something, like I feel it's just like, like it moving can... around. I mean, I'd love to think it was Paul. Maybe it was. I feel maybe like that's moving Paul. around a lot. But at the same time, I'm like, are you leaving your doors open too? Like you're not telling me it's going through a closed door or something. Yeah, you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. A I'm little not bit. trying to. No, I liked I liked the creepy story, but we're gonna give our opinions, okay? Balloons kind of do move weird, and I also f***ing hate balloons, and I don't want to believe that. See, I never a knew ghost could you be. did not like balloons. Well, you don't know me very well, do you? Um, well, <sighs> my my friend made a balloon arch for my baby shower. She was this? like, "Can you please take this downstairs and let me know when you're gonna pop them because I can't." And I'm like, I had no idea, I had no idea that you didn't like balloons. Until, yeah, let's do like a confession. My first crush was a gay dude. Aww. I thought gay people were extinct. I was 10. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So, what? He, 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 oh, what'd your parents teach you? <laughs> gay people aren't dinosaurs. No. What the hell? Extinct? They do do this, like a T-Rex, but that doesn't <laughs> mean they're extinct. Gay people are people too. Oh my goodness. Actually, that's really funny. <laughs> I just picture, I just picture gay dudes walking around the club. Hey, pass me a drink. Like that's what they do. It reminds me of the Friends episode when he when Ross does the 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 impression. <laughs> Horror story confession. So the first time I saw this figure, mm. I remember I was in the first kitchen time. when my dad and I saw someone walking by the hallway. I thought it was my sister, but turned out she was in the living room. So I was like, maybe it was my mom, but then realized she was in the shower. <laughs> Have you had something like that happen to you? Never. You never. No. I mean, you know, you see, like, you're you're in bed and you like look over and your coat rack looks like exactly the per like a person that you think is a person, and then you realize it's just the. What if it was one though? What if it was no. like Edward Cullen? No, it's never been that because I turned the light on her. I'm really <laughs> boring. <laughs> Down this is where Selena, Selena would be so no, good. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's good to have, like, not everybody experiences this I stuff. I don't experience I don't know why it. I do. Yeah. I have ever since I was a little kid, even at, like, the Robson house and stuff. What the? No, never. Like, in the backyard. Nope. Did I tell you about the little girl that I saw? Nope. Don't want to even hear I saw hear a little it. girl, and she walked down, and I followed her. I was like, I don't even know, like, 13, maybe? And I was like, oh, there's a little girl back there. I don't know. She was, like, my age. Super and I followed creepers. her back there. And then 
I, she wasn't back there. So it could have been a little girl, but she was, I don't remember a little girl being on the street like that. There wasn't another 12 year old girl on that street. And we backed onto like an embankment, right? That's freaky, man. Horror story, confession. When I was a 16 year old, I met a guy at a part-time job. He's got a job, love that. We hit it off instantly. He told me he was also my age, but he had a car. Okay, he's 16, okay, that doesn't math. Okay. We would meet up after work and just hang out. Things progressed and he got possessive of me, spending time with friends and family. Then one day he dropped me off near my house and told me that we were going on a long trip. When I asked where we were going, he said it was a surprise. He also wouldn't let me have my cell phone all day. Red flags, red flags, red flags. This is when I got a really bad feeling. I managed to talk him into giving my cell phone before I got out of the car, and I promised him I would be back knowing I wouldn't. When I walked inside my house, I told my mom what was going on. She asked me why I didn't answer my phone. I told her he took it. She ran a background check on him. What is the old mama cop or something? That's mm -hmm. great. That's what our mom does. She does yeah. background checks on her buddy. She's not a cop though. And it came back that he was in his early 20s and had been arrested for kidnapping an SA of a minor. We called the police because he was still outside waiting for me. Uh, well, uh, good on mom. Needless to say, I never saw him again. Hell yeah, we love FBI moms. Good Our job, mom's mom. an FBI mom. We never give moms the last name of guys we're seeing. Mm -mm, no. When, you're, when we were younger, we knew better. <laughs> Our little brother's like dating somebody right now and he refuses to give her the name yeah. because... She gonna find out. She gonna find him. She's gonna find what your middle I mean, name is. We could find her too. True. We do that actually. <laughs> I do that. I do Just that. Saying. I do that. I'm gonna find out what your grades were in grade two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need to look back at those parent teacher interviews. Mm -hmm. She's a teacher too. Yeah. She got that insight. Yeah. So if you look at a step a up on Jacob, you learn. Yeah. You best know. We gonna find out. Okay. Sorry. You're definitely the, <laughs> You're definitely the harder sister. I am. Yeah. You're definitely. If, if anybody ever dates any of my siblings, ooh. Ooh, I'm the bitch sister you gotta deal with. I'm sorry. Like, uh, when I come around, like yeah. Adam, her husband, he came around. I really liked the guy. Well, you kind of knew him too He's before. Good. He's like a brother to me. He's like family. <laughs> He's like a family member to me. <laughs> but when you first come in, my walls are... Oh, dude. Yeah. I got well, questions. Anyway, <laughs> interrupting the video to thank today's cool as heck sponsor, Deal Dash. For those of you who don't know, Deal Dash is an auction website that's been around for 15 years. Deal Dash has thousands of different items, all of which are brand new, on their website and on the app that you can bid on anytime. There's so much stuff on there. They got anything from designer apparel and accessories to tools and kitchenware and even game consoles and vehicles. So, how it works is you go to Deal Dash and you buy a bid pack and use that bid pack to bid on items you want. And what's cool is that every bid you place only raises the price by one cent, which is why Deal Dash has the reputation of selling pricey items for very cheap. For example, some of the craziest deals that I've seen since using Deal Dash has been a brand new Jeep selling for $1,875 and a brand new Nintendo Switch selling for $22. Like what the for example, I have been using it for a little bit now and I have bid on a eight millimeter camera, a really cool backpack that I want. If you're bidding and you run out of bids, you can always go and buy another bid pack or you can click the buy it now button and just buy it outright then and there. The bids are over, you got it. But it's nice that they have different options for you. And what I love about it too is that shipping is always free and if for any reason you're not happy with your purchase, they have a 90 day money back guarantee. So click the link in the description below and go to dealdash.com forward slash Chris and use my code Chris to get a hundred bids for free on your first pack purchase. So do yourself a favor and go check out dealdash.com forward slash Chris and let's get back to it. When I was, or when I, I female, was. When I was a, a young, young boy, boy, my father <laughs> took me into the city. When I, female, 21, was younger, 12, oh. I had a- <laughs> Jump scare. I had a group of friends I met on a Minecraft server and I'd hang out with them basically every day online. And one day I was kind of tired of it and being the dramatic person I am, I actually faked my death to them. This was, <laughs> yeah. This was a two week project where I convinced everyone I was terminally ill and finally sent the message from my mom to them telling all of my close friends I was in fact dead. One of them made a YouTube video sobbing about how I had died while others started posting on their Instagrams little photo edits of me and my Minecraft skin. Romantic. To this day, they don't know I'm still alive. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. It's like awful. For, okay, don't do that. That's awful. But that's don't. I love people that commit to the they bit. Commit. I love the they commitment. Got, and to the Mama bit. committed. No, never no, mind. No, she faked being I her faked, mom. Oh um, right. Sorry. Dude, how, did you like, ever think of that though as a kid? I thought of that as a kid. Oh yeah. No, I thought more of like I wanted to disappear. Who would who would care about? Yeah, like, like who would, no, I mean like, so in my crush this is, this cries. This, this is the scenario. You fake your death and then you, but you're not dead. Yeah. You fake and your then death. Yeah. you get to watch how everybody reacts. Yeah. See, that'd be cool. God, I think all of us would like to fake our own death and then just see what the posts are like. You know who else did that? See who shows up to the funeral. Yeah. Ross. Friends. Ross. <laughs> We're all just <laughs> wanting to live Ross's life. <laughs> Put I clip. watched Friends way too many You did. Times. I tell you, when I actually die, some people are going to get seriously haunted. Don't do that. Dude, that's terrible. But, <laughs> dude, that's so emotionally, I can't even imagine if one of my friends was like, like if Selena faked her death and didn't tell me, bitch, I would reel my death. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> That's, that that wouldn't was be wild, good. dude. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Confession. I'm in love with you. Oh. oh. I'm in love with you too. Well, not actually. I I'm love you, but I'm in love with another. Yeah. I am. She can. T she can, can. She can say that. She uses the L word. She actually feels it. I do. I and love you somebody. You can tell. It's, you can tell. It's disgusting. It's weird. It's <laughs> weird seeing my sister in love. Oh, I hate it. But I love, I love it. it. I love it because it's just like. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, like a touchy feely lovey kind of person, but I just. No, I love this person so much, and it just it's makes my so heart hurt. funny. She sends me like. Oh, this is what he said to me. Shut the. Oh. No, and it's like the most boring thing ever, but I'm such a like a uh, lovey, so I'm just like, yeah, I love to hear it. And she's like, he said that he shut the f confession. My cousin had an account with ninety thousand followers on TikTok. Okay. Slay. I knew the password and changed it because I was jealous. She lost the account and I never told her. <laughs> Bro, that's that's the most. What the, what's the you word I'm looking be for? Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. That's not very. <laughs> She's pulling out Guns N' Roses lyrics. <laughs> you won't be knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. That's so ah, big. Oh yeah, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. I really like Axl Rose. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, that's a lot. It's rude. What would you do if I did that? I mean, you have, you have, well, how many followers do you have on TikTok? I think 1.4. How would you feel if I just changed the password and never told you and you lost all that? Um, I'm pretty inconsistent. <laughs> She's like, oh, well. No, but if I was like something like working really hard for it, yeah, I'd be like, you're going to figure <laughs> it out savage. and get me more followers. I don't know or, what I'd do. What if I did that to you? No, no. You, you're, it's, it's, you're far gone. Like you're too, you. I'm too far gone. No, like you <laughs> no, have 50 I'm saying mil. Like, no, but I'm saying like, yeah, if my account got deleted, my TikTok account got deleted, I'd be like, oh, what about TikTok well, and YouTube? Low key, Boom, low key. All of a sudden. Low key. No, no, no. Low key. YouTube. My YouTube. Two people are my people. They're the ones that stick around and actually like hang out and talk to me. The TikTok people just do this. I but like you guys TikTok. do this. I don't know what that means. Oh, but you like they click and they sit. They like lit. Yeah, and I like to compliment them and I like to That's talk true. to them. So don't tell the TikTok people, but you're my favorite. Hey, the TikTok people, you can come to my channel. I'll start <laughs> yeah. posting more. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, I gotta make a YouTube channel. Would, would you guys be interested if I made a YouTube channel? Yes. What would you want to see if on my channel? I keep telling her she should, and I think it'd be fun for you to do anything. I know. I gotta do something. She's gonna. What do, what do you want to watch? What do you want to watch? Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Anyways, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. <laughs> this video gets to 5,100 million likes. <laughs> I'll make a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm about to have a baby. I got some time. <laughs> True. Confession. Nobody in my personal life knows I do fetish photography mm. as a hobby slash second job. Slay. I do it. Man. Do it. Get do it. Yours. Times are hard. If you're making money do and you're feeling good you. about it and you're doing you, do it. I understand not wanting to share that with like family and friends, maybe yeah. if they're a little bit like, you know, vanilla. You gotta I get, get some strawberry friends though. <laughs> Very important to have the strawberry friends. Maybe some blueberry friends too. <laughs> Oh, strawberry? Like like you? Like strawberry? No, I meant like some spicy friends. Well, you're some spicy. Some cayenne pepper friends. I'm vanilla. You're spicy. I'm very spicy. That's why I dyed my hair this way. You're like a cinnamon... Yeah, you're like a plain vanilla McDonald's cone. <laughs> I think I used to hold the record to eat that Yeah, McDonald's dude, she can fast. eat ice cream fast. She just goes... Don't get brain freezes. Just... 
throat freezes. Deep freeze. Deep <laughs> throat ice cream. I'm a teacher. You can't like and comment below. Call the number on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> she's having a child and she's married. Shut up. <laughs> Confession. One time flying to LAX, my old MP3 player, I had one of oh, those, started purple setting purple. the seat pocket on fire while we were in the air. <laughs> you lit a plane on fire? Those That's MP3 my worst players. fear. That's scary. Bitch, what kind of MP3 player did you have? That's not good. Holy shit, was it a lighter? I have follow-up questions. There's do you get in trouble questions. though? Like, are you, are you banned from that airline? Did you is die? It, did you get fined? Did the plane crash? I feel like we I would have heard of- I love my player though. Remember like- The- Scrolling on it. Which one are you thinking of? I had the little blue one. There's a little blue one with like a green screen. I and we download one. all our music from LimeWire. I had a purple, purple one. That are was you like drunk? That little stick. You're pregnant, are you okay? <laughs> You're like, I had a purple one. <laughs> no, I had a purple one. It was just pink. No, you know what? I'm tired, and it, man. I played music. I don't freaking sleep these days. Wait till you have a baby. I'm in training. <laughs> True. <laughs> confession. Our grandma was nearing the end of life. She was mm. begging to die. Oh. And kept asking to have a needle to end her life and would say. A needle? Yeah, a needle. Like a like a shot to end her life. <gasps> oh. And would say, give me the needle to my bum. My cousin and I pretended to give her an injection by pinching her on the bum and she legit died 10 minutes later. Dude, that's wild. The mind can do It's crazy. crazy. I hear things. stories. Our sister's a nurse. We hear the wildest stories. Some people, they will not go until like the right person comes. Like if they're like, no, I need to see like my daughter or this person, oh, yeah. like they'll hold on. They'll hold and then on. as soon as they come in, like it's like, it's kind of oh. crazy. It is. But I think that's, that's, that's the power of the mind. Or Jesus over die. water. How does he walk on that? Um, How the f does he do that? <laughs> is he real? I don't know. I have follow up questions for that. <laughs> Can you imagine just it's seeing Jesus. a guy in flip flops, just like, oh, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> you want some wine? There you go. What the? I want to meet Jesus. Well, I want him to be real. I want to hang with that guy, man. I want to barefoot water surf with him. You know I'm, what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I'm going to meet Jesus. That's, That's great. awesome. That's great. I hope you do. Confession. When I was four or five, one of my foster siblings was babysitting me, and I got bored and made them a peanut butter sandwich and gave it to them. Mm -hmm. A few seconds go by when I gave them the sandwich, and I was put on a timeout and didn't know why until they told me I could have killed them because they had a severe allergy to peanut butter. Oh, damn. Interesting. I find interesting. that allergy so interesting because like a I lot of people are. A lot of people are. Like, well, and I, don't, and I don't think, I'm sure other um, schools around the world do that, but like elementary schools, yeah. Not free. Is it really, really common? I think so. And well, because especially huh. with the severity of it. Yeah, because it's always like, here's Boom. a peanut butter sandwich or <laughs> EpiPen. Yeah, there was one time that I like, well, a little pregnancy brain, and I was like, all I could eat is peanut butter and apples or something. So I brought peanut butter and apples to school, and then I was like, <gasps> call me Chris's sister, murders children. Stop. <laughs> no, I didn't eat it. Peanut butter allergies are very scary. That's very all, scary. I guess, like people, a lot of people are allergic to milk. Did you say milk? Milk. <laughs> Same with milk. Lately, I've been it. putting more of an emphasis on the milk. That's why I said my name. Call me Chris. <laughs> <laughs> And that's oh, a sign it's, that we're... Well, I'm very tired. It's late. I'm literally torturing my sister right now because it's too late. It's only yes. 6... Oh, no, it's no. not 6.30. It's 7.30. 7.47. 7.47. I hate when I see numbers like that. Like... Boeing 747, 7, you know? Oh, like a plane? Yeah. Yeah, because like somebody with an MP3 player you know what? might okay, light here's it up. My, here's my creepy confession. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I love that. Oh my god, I yeah. swear, I always look at the clock yeah. at 9-11. Oh, 11-11. I do. 11, 11. Every single 9 -1 -1. day. I don't even 9 -1 -1. think about it. 9 one one Yep, 9 -1 -1. What's your emergency? Exactly. Well, and I'm that's crazy. why I'm always like... I do that too. I do it on 11-11 though. Every day, and I don't mean to. But sometimes I even it out because sometimes I usually look at it at 12.34. One, two, three, four. Interesting. And then I'm like, oh, I was right. Yeah. I don't know why. I wake, up at, I wake up at 3.33 a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a witching I'm hour. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video. It really helps with the channel. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is obviously the bestest YouTube channel ever. Thank you to Jessica for joining me on this horrific journey of confessions. <laughs> Thank you for your confessions. I'll take them to my grave. Take them straight to hell with me. I hope you have a beautiful last day and I will see your beautiful post in the next video, okay? Bye. Bye. Thank you.